Hey guys, Darcy here, and today we're going to talk about console tracking mode in Luna. Let's get into it. All right, guys, we got Luna open here. What is console tracking mode? First off, it's a setting when you go up to transport and bring the drop down in, you see console tracking mode currently for me is checked off. So what is this? So if I bring up actually console here, which is the software that UAD made to be the interface or the control for the actual Apollo unit that you have. It, it controls and interfaces between that and any DAW that you have. Before Luna came out, this basically was the way anybody would go about controlling what preamps, what unison preamp, what compressors, what EQs, whatever they had, they wanted to process their vocals or whatever instrument they're recording in through the Apollo before it hits the computer. And then, you know, it'd be pre-processed before you hit any DAW. So this here, essentially this console tracking mode allows console to be the determination for how things are being routed. When you bring up Luna and you don't have console tracking mode on, by default, all your computer audio goes away. Essentially, this computer track that I have here, it is essentially not set up inside of Luna and therefore you don't hear in your computer audio. You have to essentially create a track for that. We'll get into that in a second. But when I have console tracking mode on while Luna is open, I actually still get all my computer audio that will play through and be recorded. So these are two main reasons. So let's drive home this point in Luna. Okay. So if I were to go into console tracking mode, right? or should I go into Luna here and you see that I were to enable this one track that is set up with the same microphone as we have set up here, the origin one, then I hit uh, record enable. We will see that essentially it is taking exactly the settings that I had set up in console and just bringing them into Luna. So uh, uh, my 48 volts is already on and everything's hitting the same between the two. If I take that off, you'll see console is still enabled and everything's working there. You're still able to hear me because it is the thing that is controlling what is being sent through and routed. Now, if I were to go over to these three tracks here that are supposed to be API, SSL, and Manly, if I would say we're setting up a recording template and I record enable, this is on a different microphone input. So I add a, uh, uh, say an SSL channel strip onto this. And then I record enable to any other track that has the same input. You see, it just transfers the settings over. It moves the SSL over to that track and it moves it over to the third one. If I switch, that's because essentially what I've done is I've loaded it up into console through Luna. And since console is the thing that's controlling it, this input, whatever is on here is tied to it. So as I move between these, it's staying the same because the console is still the same. Now, if I take off console tracking mode, this is where I can get that flexibility. But before I do that, I have to stop recording this one, set it up and record another one because even my microphone input is going to be switched around and I don't want it to be cut off in the middle of the recording. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So you see here, I have it now out of console mode. It's unchecked. And what you will see is that we essentially have the uh, my microphone, the one I'm talking through, still has the API channel strip and my compressor. So everything's still good here. And I have my API channel over here, my SSL, and my Manly. So if I were to record enable the API, you'll see that it has an API channel strip on it, right? Nothing surprised there. Record enable the SSL, and now it has the SSL channel strip on that. It might flicker see a little bit there as it's trying to switch between the different ones, but it essentially will land on the correct one. So this is really beneficial if you wanted to say, for instance, have you wanted to have multiple options for um, one microphone and you wanted to toggle between different uh, preamps. So let's say you have a recording template set up and you have artists come over to your studio and you wanted to have an API channel strip with this compressor. You wanted to have a manly box box with that compressor. You wanted an SSL with that EQ, whatever you want to do. You, you essentially have all these chains set up and you want to have just a flurry of tracks ready to go. Someone shows up and you go, um, let, me, let me listen to you on the API. You just record enable it. Yeah, that's not feeling that. Let's go to the SSL. 
All right, that sounds better, right? And you just want to be able to move. That essentially lets you do that, but you need to have console tracking mode off to achieve it. Otherwise, console will be the thing you would have to switch between. If you have console tracking mode on, then you'd have to go through your console presets and switch out um, what you want there. Really, it's going to come down to what workflow works for you. If you have a whole bunch of stuff set up in console, then maybe you want it on uh, the tracking mode. I mean, if maybe, you know, that's not the thing for you, you want it all set up in the recording template, that's an easier workflow. Then there you go. It's really just down to, to what works for you. Um, now, the one thing I had mentioned earlier in the video is that with uh, the console tracking mode on, we don't have the computer audio either coming to our ears. And so what we want to do is create a new track for this. So if we want to create a, a com uh, computer track, see, yeah, I'm already started to be set up here. What we're going to want to do is basically create an audio track that's stereo, call it comp or something else. And then what we're going to do is change our inputs to be, I have them called comp left and right. If you want to see where these are coming from, you would go command and then the comma button, that's gonna bring up your settings. Then you're gonna go your IO matrix. And what you'll see here is that my um, comp left and right are basically just virtual one and two. I just renamed them because I want the computer more obvious to me. So I'm gonna go back out. And essentially you're just gonna make those an input and then you could put the input uh, monitoring on um, or record enable, but I'd put input monitoring on and then you could hear your computer audio while you have the session open. So this would allow you to say, while you're not recording, you're taking a moment to pause, still listen to YouTube or something like that. Pretty straightforward stuff here, but may not be obvious to people if, uh, you know, it uh, looks like secret sauce and you, you, you just don't know how all of this works. Um, but really, it's just going to come down to what is the workflow that you are doing and what, whether console tracking mode makes sense for you or not. Try them both out and then land on whatever decision you love the most. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, let me know that with a like, a comment. Uh, if you have questions, let me know what could be beneficial for you. And otherwise, have yourself a great day. Peace, y'all.